So last night I was digging around the comments trying to look for what you guys asked for the most and the number one most requested thing was super unrelated to architecture. Where'd you get your alcohol markers container? Good thing the questions weren't why is your lip so big or why is your nostril so round? That'll be a very long and complicated video. <laughs> So I made this alcohol marker container from some old DVD or CD racks lying around. For those of you who were born after the 2010s, a CD or DVD is this round shiny thingy mobob that contains movies. It's kind of like Netflix, but it's easier to choose. So whatever DVDs you have, uh, those are basically the choices you got. So for me, I only got three CDs, Lord of the Rings, a Windows 98 driver disc, and The Last of the Mohicans. <laughs> DVDs were expensive as fudge, man. Anywho, the story behind why I decided to make this case was because it was so darn hard to look for alcohol markers when they're all just bunched up together. Also, I made a reference sheet to see what colors the markers are because the colors on the tops of the alcohol markers are super inaccurate. So I had to look at the reference sheet, then look for the specific marker. And this took so much precious time. Time that I could have spent playing miniature basketball in my new studio. Anyway, because of this first world problem, I decided to make this container. So this container solves my problem of having to look for a specific color for a long time since it is slightly arranged based on color. Also, I don't need to look at the reference sheet anymore because beneath the markers are the actual colors with their corresponding labels. Also, you could separate certain levels of this container depending on which color or palette you need. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys could find the same model as the DVD holder I used right here. It's made of this clear plastic and the DVD slots are perfect fit for a sideways touch 5 alcohol marker. So the first thing I did is I discombobulated this whole thing. Did, did I use that word correctly? Discombobulated. Okay, I used it completely wrong. <laughs> so what's the word for that? Mm, disassemble, yep, that's the word. Real men of genius. Real men of genius. Anyways, I just disassembled this whole case. Now all I need are these two longitudinal parts here and here. So, these two parts. Now all the rest could just be donated to your local trash can. Or you could keep it and use it someday. If ever CDs and DVDs go back in style. Now the next step is to combine these two parts so that it makes a cave where your Copics or your alcohol markers could live in. Like so. So to join these two things together, I just get some board and wrap it with masking tape and I just slot it in the side like so. I made four of these cardboard pegs, one for each corner. Then I just join these two together in holy matrimony of DIY awesomeness and that's how I made the main alcohol container. Now that we're done with the main container, it is now time for the piece de resistance. Pia, piece de resistance. Res, piece. I give up, guys. Okay, so the piece de resistance, or however the French people pronounce it, are the labels. For the labels, I measured each slot, then I plotted the actual measurement in AutoCAD and printed it to scale on some water coloring paper. Now, all I need to do is write the color codes of the markers I want to put inside, then color in the labels. This way, I know what the actual color of the corresponding marker is. Once it's done, I just place some double-sided tape on the back of the labels, then stick it onto the container. And boom! Coco Crunch! One day a twister came and sucked up tons of chocolate and poured it over the wheat field. And then, boom, it became Coco Crunch. No way. There we go, guys. We have made a container for our alcohol markers. And we spent zero monies because I just stole this DVD 
case racks from my parents. Anyways, that's the video guys. I'm sorry for wasting 5 minutes of your life, but you asked for it, so yeah, it's your fault. This weird ass video is now on the interwebs. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We will be back with our regular architectural content next week. I will see you guys on the next video. Flying peace and happy holidays.